Here's what we need to understand. Your family, even though they did the best that they could, they kind of messed you up because they didn't properly nurture you on an emotional level. You knew what you wanted as a child. I knew I just wanted to sing. I just wanted to dance. I just wanted to play. And I didn't want to study certain things, right? So your family, you could say, turned you against your truth. And this is not to blame them. The schooling system did the same. The schooling system is completely messed up. It forced you to study things that you didn't want to study. And so you've been walking around your whole life misguided with all this trauma in you. Anytime you do something that you don't want to do, that creates trauma, okay? So you've been walking around not really knowing who you are. As you start to take your power back, as you start to disengage from unhealthy people, unhealthy relationships, unhealthy situations, it's going to get uncomfortable for a while because unhealthiness is all that you've known, right? The ego is there to protect you. The ego is like an animal, right? It's here to protect you. So when you have trauma, the ego starts to take over. It starts to take over. It wants to be in control. And this is why it clings on to these unhealthy people. It clings on to these unhealthy jobs because it's living in a state of fear. As you start to let go of your fear, as you start to let go of your guilt and your shame, so many of you, including myself, have you still have shame. This is why you beat yourself up because your parents made you feel ashamed of wanting what you wanted and you've had this internalized shame your whole life. And this is why you beat yourself up constantly and you shouldn't beat yourself up because you beating yourself up, you sabotaging yourself and your relationships isn't the true you. That's the traumatized you. So evidently when you start to let go of these unhealthy relationships and your fears and your guilt and your shame, it's going to take a while for your life to rearrange itself. It's not going to happen overnight because you don't really know who you are, right? And then the ego is going to start to panic because the ego is a complete addict. It's a control freak. It wants to stay in these codependent relationships. It wants to stay in these miserable jobs because it's afraid that it won't be provided for. That's how the ego works. So as the ego starts to flounder like a salmon in the ocean, you have to calm yourself down. You have to compose yourself. You have to, to, to strengthen your belief in the power of the universe, knowing that the universe loves you unconditionally. It wants you to only write songs if you only want to write songs. It wants you to be a, a stay-at-home mom if that's what you want. There's nothing wrong with what you want, but you have to recondition yourself to believe in your dreams. And then things start to beautifully come together for you. You know, it's like all the stuff that you've been clinging on to has been holding back your potential. You can almost say that those are the blocks that are blocking your highest potential or what you're wanting to manifest. So as you release these blockages, as you release these boulders that are in your way, as you let go of these unhealthy relationships and who society told you to be, it's like everything naturally starts to pull together, which is what's so amazing. It's like a beautiful orchestra and, and a perfect symphony of harmony and order. And it's like your life starts to come together. So be patient with yourself, okay? Be patient with yourself. Anytime you let go of your job, your ego is gonna panic. It's okay, let it panic. Don't let it run your show for you. The, the ego, it, it wants to take over your life. And it's not the enemy, it's just that you don't want to give it power. You want to give your soul power, knowing that what you want is perfect, all right? So don't be afraid to let go of people in your life. The, every time you've made a mistake, every time you've hurt someone, that was a product of trauma. The trauma that was put in you by your own family, by the schooling system, by this world. You didn't mean to do those things. So forgive yourself. Start lightening the load, okay? There's no sense in living your life constantly self-deprecating and being harsh with yourself. So you've got this, all right? Face your fears. If you don't like your job, leave, but then commit to your dreams. If you don't like your relationship, leave. It might You might be scared that you won't make money, but you will. As long as you feed your fear, you won't make money. As long as you feed your fear, you won't achieve your dreams, okay? You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to strengthen that internal relationship. You have a relationship with your highest self, with the universe, with God, whatever you want to call it. It's the highest version of yourself. I love you.